when you're generating AI art with ChatGPT and Dolly 3, you can get some mistakes, text misspellings, or in general, just some things you would like to change. Well, I'm gonna show you how to use the Vary Region feature. This is fairly new. You can click on the Vary Region once you've selected a photo you've already generated. You can change the size of your highlighter here and go ahead and highlight what you wanna change. So for example here, this dinosaur leg is actually not quite correct. It's merging with the tractor beam of the UFO. So we wanna change that and we want to just say UFO beam instead of there being any sort of leg there or anything like that. Let's go ahead and enter and see what comes back. Now there are two things that I want to teach you in this video. Not only the very region feature and how to use it, we're going to use it progressively more advanced as well as we go through the video. So we're going to do more advanced examples. And then the second thing that I want to show you is actually how to monetize and make money with your designs and your AI art. Because many people start with, you know, creating art and they like it and they enjoy it but they're looking for a way to actually monetize it in a risk-free way that actually works in 2024. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well if you stick around to the end of the video. Now, as you can see, the first generation back, we asked it to remove that leg and it did a pretty good job. It's not perfect, but it did definitely remove the leg and it blended the rest of the design in. If you'll notice, it didn't just create like a simple color overlay or, you know, it actually created the lines and continued the lines of the existing design designed before. Maybe we don't want this guy here in the middle. He looks kind of out of place. I'm not sure what kind of dinosaur he is. So let's just say UFO beam. And let's see if it can remove the entire character from the scene. Now, how else could you potentially use this for your designs? Well, if you wanted to replace someone's face, you could paint over their face and then use a new reference photo of someone else's face. And you could do this in print on demand for someone that wants to personalize their order and put their face on a product. So you could do it that way. You could easily fix hand mistakes. Sometimes there's four fingers, sometimes there's six fingers. You could easily just highlight the hand and correct that. You can fix any misspellings in words or text on your designs. You can highlight over the misspelling and have that corrected. You can change colors. There's so much that you can actually do with the very region feature. And so it's about to finish up on this generation. Let's see if it can remove this entire dinosaur from the selection that we've made. Another way to use this feature would be to create new designs from existing winning designs. So maybe you have a cat reading a book and that's a winning design for you. Well, you could simply highlight over that cat, maybe put in different dog breeds, different cat breeds, different colors of cats and you have new designs. You can scale up your catalog on Etsy or Amazon or Shopify, wherever you're selling, simply by swapping in and out different characters into your designs, changing the colors, and changing overall elements within your designs. Here's another design. And in this one, I didn't love how there was a hand over here generated that just doesn't make sense. Like how can his hand be over here on this side of the tub? So I'm gonna go ahead and select this. And just make sure that you don't select anything outside of the realm of what you want changed. Because if you do, then it's not going to come out correctly. So don't overlap. Make sure you paint within the lines. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to say, remove this hand. All right. And just like that, it's removed the hand. It does still have a small artifact here from the previous design where the hand was. So we might want to paint over that one more time, just right there in the black and make sure that we can remove that entirely so that it doesn't show up as a little artifact on our design. So I'm just saying black color, no objects or elements. And it should come back and remove everything from that area. You can change facial expressions. If for example, if we wanted to make the skeleton scared or excited or whatever we wanted to change his facial expression to be, we could easily paint over his face and ask for it to be changed. We could change colors, we could change textures, we can create new designs. It has completely entirely removed that artifact and in, in fact, it added in more bubbles. So to fill in that space, it actually put in the, dis the similar design elements around it to make sure that it looks seamless. I think it looks fantastic. You can't even tell that there was anything there previously. So we could continue editing this, but it's looking really good in my opinion, I like how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and download this design and then we're gonna be able to upload this onto things like tapestries, puzzles, and t-shirts, for example. But there's all different types of products here within Printify. Printify is free to sign up for and they are a print-on-demand provider. So they have all different types of print-on-demand products, even things like golf balls and puzzles. I have a video, I'll link it right here, on how you can take your designs and sell them on puzzles 
on Etsy, on Amazon, Walmart, eBay, wherever you are selling all different types of products, pillows, aprons, uh, many, many different types of hooded blankets and blanket types. So you really have a lot of different options of where you can take your designs and actually put them into the real world. So you're creating these designs within ChatGPT, but then the goal is to actually sell these designs as physical products in the real world that people are happy to wear and display in their home. And the thing is you can build a real business out of this and the, the profit margins are fantastic and your risk is very low. So instead of needing to buy products in bulk, you can simply order one unit at a time per order as soon as your customer orders from you on any platform, whether you're selling TikTok, Etsy, Amazon, they will order from you and then Printify is going to actually ship that out on your behalf. So you never have to invest in expensive machinery. You never need to buy thousands of items in bulk. Printify is taking on all of that risk. All you need to do is create AI art, put it onto these products and onto the marketplaces where people are searching for these products, and then you can create a passive income stream for yourself with Print On Demand. Printify is a fantastic print on demand partner. I've been using them since around 2016, and I have never been disappointed with the quality, the shipping speed, and overall the product variety. They're even adding in things like coffee and lotions and denim jackets and things like that. So guys, if you're interested in getting into print on demand and monetizing your AI art, in my opinion, this is the best way to do so. And if you want more tips, tricks, and strategies on how you can succeed in print on demand, be sure to join the free Facebook group. You can book a one-on-one -on -one call or a group coaching call with me all of those links are in the description. I sincerely hope that this was valuable for you. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Create something awesome. Love you. See you in the next video.